بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو آن لائن ٹیچنگ ونس اگین ڈیو ٹو دا تھرڈ ویو آف کووڈ نائنٹین ایز یو آل نو دیٹ انسٹیٹیوشنز ہیو شٹ ڈاؤن سو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ آر سیکنڈ سیمیسٹر فرسٹ لیکچر ود دا اورینٹیشن آن مائی کورس دیٹ از انگلش ٹو because in first semester you people have uh, done the course of english 1 uh, which was the basic course of grammar uh, so here we are going to in this lecture we are going to see what is the course content of uh, english 2 so uh, let me quickly take you to the slide so now this is the course content which has come from Uh, women university mardan uh, with which our institution is affiliated right now if you look at this it, this is going to be uh, let me take out uh, this laser pointer now the course code will be 102 all right it was 101 for your previous semester now it will be called as english 2 the credit hours will remain 3 as in the first course now we get to the objective you see that every course has uh, some purpose some objective behind it so we are going to see that this course is designed for the students to fulfill their practical life communication skill and needs right i have uh, written practical life communication skill in red now the reason is because first we need to understand what is communication skill or what are communication skills which we are going to talk about right so this course basically uh, it requires students uh, to be Uh, equipped with practical life communication skill and their needs right so we get to the content now look at the course contents number 1 we are going to see that your course has the first um, part of it is going to be paragraph writing which is the basic unit of thought that we are going to talk about so paragraph writing in which uh, you are going to practice in writing a good unified and coherent paragraph okay so we are going to discuss the things in detail when uh, we are going to start uh, these topics right the second topic will be essay writing in which we are going to discuss what how to write the introduction of essay and of course uh, the introduction to overall essay writing in which we are going to write down basic um, structure and uh, you will see that we are going to talk about the characteristics or features so that will be in detail discussed uh, then we are going to do the practice of essay writing well the third is cv and job application now this is a quite um, uh, you can say a technical thing how to write a cv and how to write job application so we are going to um get introduced to these two things and we are going to do the practice so uh, this is our topic number 3 topic number 4 uh, it is the continuation of your first semester topic that was uh, translation now over there you people were given the translation uh, of different sentences as well as paragraphs so here too the same is going to continue that is from urdu to english and from english to urdu all right now topic number 5 is study skills and now this topic is quite a comprehensive one because it has uh, many uh, sub skills underneath now for example we will see what is skimming and scanning very technical terms for reading or quick reading skills intensive and extensive and also we are going to be introduced with speed reading then summary and pressy writing and comprehension you see so the study skills are uh, going to be quite um, you can say in detail quite lengthy and it will require more time uh, than the previous topics right 
so because uh, there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 eight topics under this broad uh, topic study skills so we are going to discuss that also uh, then at number six you see that i have cut this academic like in your content uh, they have written academic writing uh, but if you look at the um, uh, topics underneath they are not academic writing they are either technical writing skills or official writing skills so i have deliberately uh, put a cross on this so that you people should know that in uh, your content list um, which has come from the university it is written as academic writing but I have changed it into official writing skills or you can call them as technical writing skills in which you are going to write down the letter and memo writing like what is memo, what, how to write a letter. Okay, letter comes in academic writing. Um, it can also come in official writing or business writing. Uh, but memo writing does not come under uh, academic writing, right? So that's why I have changed its name. Well... Uh, there is another thing that they will introduce and that is minutes of meeting. So you will be introduced to the minutes of meeting uh, as well. It's quite a technical thing. Number seven, uh, use of library and internet. Well, uh, now this is not going to be kind of um, um, th this topic. I will generally discuss it because you already know that how important it is to use library and internet for the sake of uh, uh, your studies for the sake of your academics so how important is that so this is a general topic for discussion only and the last topic that you are going to cover is presentation skills in which you are going to see that the purpose is to have the personality development and then the focus will be on the content style and pronunciation you have already done the presentation in your uh, first semester but this time you are going to uh, read the theory part of it also and then you are going to practice it when uh, different pre uh, presentations are going to be given to you. So I can uh, change the order of topics uh, according to the requirement. I mean uh, there are eight uh, topics that we have to cover and under those eight topics there are subtopics too that you have to see that we are going to cover but I can change the order of uh, these topics for uh, students so that I can um, probably I take person uh, sorry presentation skills um, at number four probably and uh, so we are going to uh, discuss or we are going to do it according to the requirement and side by side so up to this point now we are clear that the course content um, is uh, quite a detailed one from the first semester and uh, first thing that you require is going to be the um, uh, the idea about the communication skills because this is what the entire uh, course objective is as you have already seen it it is written over there okay uh, let's get to the recommended books as written in your uh, syllabus or your scheme of studies which has come from the university now there are different books uh, all these have been written in uh, italics and the bold one you can see that practical english grammar then number two writing of intermediate level now these are the authors then again there is another book which is for upper intermediate actually this is your level you are upper intermediate then we have some uh, uh, material on reading which will be of advanced level this you do not require because uh, this is something which is of a bit high level than you are then reading and study skills by john langdon that is the book and then finally we have study skills by richard yoki well uh, your this course is again of general level i mean um, you can buy any of these books it's up to you uh, i will um, ask you to go for numbers book number one and uh, book number six 
somebody who wants to buy it otherwise um, we are going to um, cover it from anywhere right because there are these are all the again uh, general level things paragraph essay uh, cv uh, presentation skills so these, these are the general level topics right um, if you have any question regarding the content you can ask in the group uh, so i'm now taking you to this academic calendar for associate degree program which has come from the university in which they have covered two sessions session which you are over with like your session was fall or the autumn semester now that is over now you are in spring semester right so spring 2021 now this is your semester right so we, let's have a look at it uh, you people have covered uh, this part up to here end of first semester now this is over 31st march 2021 now this was according to the schedule uh, though our classes started somewhere um, in november and due to covid and the delays because of that uh, still we managed to cover the course and it ended uh, on 31st march 2000 uh, sorry 2021 yes to 2021 which means now look at this box this box where we have written spring 2021 now our focus should be here well commencement of classes of second semester they will be from 1st april 2021 well now here you have to make a little change this is not the 1st april they will start from or they are starting from 5th april 5th april not 1st april so university has delayed your semester by one uh, week or five days now it will be from 5th april which means monday or today like that we are talking you see all right now your midterm exam is going to be somewhere in the first week of june 2021 then final term examination is going to be from uh september the first week of september and your semester is going to end uh in the first week of september okay so this is how your academic calendar uh, for your spring 2021 is here so kindly have again a good look at that now this is the focus so in uh, between they have uh, given you the schedule of uh, gazetted holidays in which we have to look at uh, number four okay number four is labor day in which we see that it is it comes on saturday first may then eid ul fitr holidays are there then eid ul azha holidays are here then independence day holidays and ashura holidays so now these are those uh, you can say the planned holidays which have been given over here right so there can be changes we don't know the situation of covid probably uh, uh, the online period is going to be uh, stretched uh, to some more days or we don't know we, we have to wait for the meeting uh, of uh, the federal minister for education you see that so the situation keeps changing but again let me remind you that we have to study uh, we have to try to continue with our studies despite uh, such kind of delays in between now this should be the spirit okay so um thank you uh, this is all i had to say for in today's brief orientation um, we are going to properly start our course uh, from lecture number two which will be about communication skills which if you see that the course objective tells us about so we need to start from the conceptual level from where we are going to talk about uh, the meaning the types of communication skills and then the importance of communication skills um, so so that we should be prepared for the rest of the topics that are going to come so uh, that's it for today so the next lecture, uh, watch out for communication skills. Allah Hafiz.